Okay, so the server node should be in an active mode. Okay, but the client will not be in an active mode. Whenever it need a request, it activated and it send a request and waiting for a reply. So since uh, the server is running in the background, they establish the uh, accept the request and process and respond. After responding, even after responding, will align. Okay, it's not going to be terminated. Since the meantime, some other client sent a request. So, in the client server architecture, the server is always active and the client is receiving for a, some limited time. Okay? And what is peer to peer architecture? Both peer to peer communication? Both yes, both nodes can act as a client and server. Okay, there is no need of specific server here. So, no need of server to maintain uh, active at all the time. Right? So, one node wants to. Uh, data to the another node B. So on the time only it active and it send a request and go over the destination. So on that time whenever it receive a request it is activated and accept the request process and respond then close the connection. Okay. So this is the peer to peer communication. Okay. This is a fundamental and uh, okay. Then what about clients of programming? So you have to work in an what is the basis for clients of programming? You, you need a okay. You are doing a TCP IP using TCP IP socket. Uh, TCP IP protocol, you are doing clients of programming. So what are the basic requirements? IP You are using IP address. You are using port number. Right? You are using local host and port number only. Then you need a client program and Server program. Okay, so you need both client and server programming. So client, the client program, what is happening with the client? Create an interface. So interface is mandatory in a client server, client server programming concept. So what is the interface? Interface here is API. What is API? Application, Application programming interface. Okay, so what APIs we are using in our lab? We are using streams or sockets. Okay, we are using socket. So socket is an API. Okay, it is an API application programming interface. Okay, so interface is nothing but it is a set of instruction. It tells how an application is integrated with your system. Okay, so that is defined at the uh, socket. Okay, so here we have a client and server. So in order to create a client socket and a server socket, okay, listen all of you. Okay, so client and server both establish the socket first. Okay, so client create a socket. So here I have to mention the socket uh, local, local uh, what is the client socket address? Okay, this is nothing but the IP address plus port number. Socket address is nothing but the combination of IP address and port number. So all the fiber postings they will ask in the lab. What is the socket address is nothing but combination of IP address and port number. Okay. And it uh, requires for a connection. Okay. Meantime, server circuit is created and it is set circuit means give a server address. Local network server address is given here. This is the set socket and bind it with the IP address and it is listening for any client address. So listen using the listen method waiting for an any client request. The meantime, whenever a client using the connect method request an connection request to the server means, so it accepts it. Okay? So it accepts the connection. Then once the connection is established between the client and server socket, so data is transmitted between them. Okay? So this is the way your clients are programmers can make. So client and server both the programming you should have a socket or it should be created at the client side as well as the server side. So client side so just create a socket and request a connection. The server side create the socket and bind the socket to the local server IP address and waiting for any client request. If any request is based, accept it and establish the connection.